Hi, this is JP from No The Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another episode of the Eye of Chaos series, where I pick a random investigator, play the Midnight Mask uh, scenario on standard difficulty uh, with that investigator, with a Chaos deck that I build on, over on ArkhamDB.com. Uh, let's see which investigator we get this time. Uh, we have the Scarlet Keys investigators here, so we'll see if we happen to hit a uh, newer investigator this time. Uh, well, uh, we didn't. We got uh, another mystic. Uh, we get Luke Robinson. So I haven't played Luke in a long time, but with Luke there are plenty of opportunities to <laughs> run from the enemies by escaping uh, into the gate box. So uh, let's hop over to ArkhamDB.com and build the the Chaos deck for Luke. Okay, we are over on ArkhamDB.com and we'll just pick Luke from here. There he is. So, uh, Luke has Seeker access, so hoping to get some good Seeker cards to help me investigate or get good spells to investigate. And uh, hopefully something to fight with. So let's just push the chaos button and see what we get. Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, we will see what we get. So we'll have we have the new dosing rod, so you can investigate with this. Uh, not sure if this is good for Luke, but we'll see. Uh, flashlight always decent. A uh, cookery. <laughs> Uh, not good for Luke. Medical text not useful for us uh, at all. Ectonian stone. This might be good because we have uh, one tablet token in the back. We could um, seal that onto it. this. Uh, inflappable truth. So this is for evasion. We really don't need that that much. Rights of Seeking is really good for those double clue locations we have on the map, so hopefully getting this only one copy though. Uh, Shroud of Shadows, again not that needed for Luke. St. Hubert's Key, it's a good card for Luke, boosts uh, willpower and um, intellect uh, with the cost of two sanity, but, but we have plenty of sanity to go around. Uh, Arcane Initiate, well this could help us if we get it out. Uh, Charles, <laughs> Charles Ross Esquire, not, never played this guy. Maybe we'll see him in play this time. Uh, Dr. William T. Melson could be good sometimes. Uh, empirical Hypothesis, well, um, it's a, a customizable card without any customize, uh, customization, so I think this won't be that good for us. Uh, then we have Blinding Light, never liked this card that much. Uh, connect the Dots, uh, not that good. Uh, Dark Prophecy, not that good. Uh, emergency Cash, okay, well. Uh, explosive Ward. Uh, not good, we don't have that many extra cards to discard from our arcane slots. Preposterous sketches. No. Read the signs that this is actually good for this scenario. Uh, Tempate. Oh, decent. Uncage the soul could be useful. Uh, Return the stars. Uh, not good for Luke. Then we have skills fearless. Uh, Guts times two. Well, we are running a mystic, so willpower boost is okay. Plan of action, not good for Luke. Uh, promise of power, this is good every time. And then our random basic weakness is uh, in depth. Death. So we start the game with two less resources. Well, it is what it is, but that is the deck. Okay, well, uh, we got an um, okay uh, deck, I think. 
we don't have an, any way of fighting in the deck, I think. Or uh, not that I can see that there are really good ways to fight. So this might go poorly. We, we might get some <coughs> clues, clear some uh, victory point locations and maybe get some cultists. Uh, but we are basically running away from everything. But that loop does best, so uh, let's see how this goes. So uh, I'll build the deck and let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to begin uh, the game with Luke Robinson. So we have the indebted in play, so we only have three resources to start the game with. We have the gate box in play uh, with the three charges on it. And uh, then um, I didn't bother to put the, uh, the upgrade card showing because we don't have any checkboxes marked in that yet, so that is pretty useless in this situation. But we'll start by uh, drawing our opening hand with Luke, so hoping to get something good to get us started. Uh, Shroud of Shadows, Empirical Hypothesis can go. Uh, yeah, Shroud of Shadows. We'll keep the Promise of Power and uh, Preposterous Sketches. We'll draw three more cards. We get Guts, uh, Rights of Seeking, Great, and Plan of Action. So I'm thinking of playing the Rights of Seeking soon enough. We'll head to the locations which have um, High Shroud and uh, also two clues on them. And we'll try to grab two clues per one investigate from those. And maybe we'll try to get more victory points by getting the locations cleared than actually uh, defeating the cultist because we're not that good at fighting. <clears throat> okay, so, so first action. Uh, let's see, we only have three resources. I don't want to play anything. I will just play... Uh, use the plan of action to boost to four. So I am four versus. So this is the. If this test is during the or before the first action of this turn. Okay, so yeah, we don't want to spend that yet. We don't want to commit anything else. Maybe well, preposterous sketches. So we are four versus two. Zero, so we'll grab this clue. Second action, we'll move to. Oh, yeah, I uh, forgot to flip the river town from last game I played just a moment ago. Uh, so uh, we'll head there, and last action, I will. I will investigate again. So uh, three versus one. Minus one. So we'll grab this clue too. So next turn we can possibly get one cultist out or just keep on uh, revealing locations and getting clues. But yeah, that is that round. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw a card. We'll gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom to the agenda. Then counter card. Uh, we get first is Acolyte. Well, we'll just park the Acolyte here and forget about it. We uh, really are not uh, well fitted to fight anything, so we'll just place that guy there and forget him. That means we have one less turn to get these clues and stuff, but it is what it is. So first action. We will use our four resources to play Rights of Seeking, or Right of Seeking, actually. And it has three charges on it. Second action, we'll move to Miskatonic University. 
it is a four shroud location with two clues that's perfect so um, let's place the clues last action we will investigate using the rights of seeking right of seeking uh, so we are investigating four versus four but I think I will boost this up by two so we are uh, now six versus four which is good because we drew a minus two but we still succeed we draw a card with guts we get dr. Milan uh, uh, dr. William T. Nelson and we grab these two clues so that's really good and that is our turn no enemy actions will go to upkeep uh, we ready up we draw a card st. Hubert's key well we don't have resource now but hopefully we get some uh, resources soon enough and we gain a resource so that is that round let's go to the next round we add another doom to uh, now we are at three of six encounter card is crypt chill well this we want to succeed because we don't want to lose uh, right of seeking and i think we will commit plan of action to the test so we are uh, six versus four i'll go even seven versus four because we don't have resources to play uh the saint hubert ski anytime soon and i want to hold on to the promise of power so we're off by three so hopefully that is enough and it is because it's a minus one so actually we were up by yeah up by two with this and up by three with this so we pass we don't lose any any uh, assets especially we don't want to lose the gate box uh, first action we'll play dr william t nelson just to have some buffer second action we'll move up to north side uh, three shroud two clues victory point one okay and last action we'll try to investigate with the right of seeking for our last action now um, we are up by one do we want to commit the promise of power or not okay let's risk it we'll uh, commit the promise of power next round for the downtown maybe we'll get lucky and get, grab those clues too so uh, we are up by one uh, four versus three and it is a minus one so uh, we'll grab these two clues uh, we are loaded with clues I think we need to start spending them uh, at some point, but we'll see. Uh, that is that round. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. We draw a card, a Shroud of Shadows, and gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another Doom. So we are at four of six encounter card is Mysterious Chanting. So we are advancing next round. Because this uh, acolyte, do we want to? No, we'll just let it uh, advance. So this acolyte gets two doom, but we don't won't advance yet. We will advance next round. Uh, okay. Well, first action would be to move. To downtown, uh, three shroud, uh, one clue. Actually, yeah, we could do the action to gain resources here. Or oh, uh, first, I think we will. Yeah, we'll do the action to gain resources. We probably need those resources at some point. Hopefully we get Victoria, so we get those resources for that. Uh, so, 
three resources. Last action. We'll actually spawn a cultist. So these are shuffled. I'll pick the bottom one. Herman Collins. So we need to go to the graveyard at some point. And I think we have uh, plenty of cards to do that at some point. But it is uh, that is that round. So uh, that is that round. Nothing else to do here. So we'll already up. We draw a card. Uh, uncage the soul. And we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, um, we add a doom, so the agenda advances. And we have the Masked Hunter on us. Okay, and then we get an encounter card. It is Hunting Night God. So I think it's uh, time to get the hell out of here. So I will just uh, first action use the gate box. We'll go to our uh, dream gate. That was our first action. No, that was a free action, but this is exhausted now. And then here, uh, so Green Gate is connected to each other, uh, revealed location, and vice versa. Enemies and investigators, other than Luke Robinson, cannot enter Green Gate. Forced at the end of the investigation phase, set Green Gate aside out of play. If Luke Robinson is here, move him to a revealed location. So basically, these two dropped here. Uh, we escaped over here. Uh, first action, we'll just spawn more cultists and see what we get. So we can start planning where we go next round. Uh, Peter Warren. Actually, I think I will stop there because now we can just uh, move there next round and defeat Peter Warren with the two clues we have. And then we can move to the graveyard and defeat uh, Herman Collins and maybe get those two clues that are there and get the victory from, from that and spawn one more cultist and then call it a day possibly. But uh, enemy actions, so the enemies, oh yeah, uh, so at the end of the investigation phase, that is the end of the investigation phase, so we will actually drop here. So, Peter will hit us for one damage. We don't mind. We just uh, defeat him next round. These guys hunt here. That is okay. Then... Uh, we draw a card. Uh, ready. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I did one, two... I have one action left, so I, I took a resource. Oh, no, I drew a card. Okay, so we got those cards, and yeah, I, I messed up how many actions I still had left, but it is what it is. Uh, so we ready up. Then uh, uh, we gain a resource, and that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another Doom, and counterpart for this round is False Lead. If you have no clues, False Lead can search. If you have one or more clues, test uh, Intellect for, for each point you fail by place one of your clues on the location. Uh, I will actually use Promise of Power for this, so we uh, should pass it. Uh, we are uh, three up by, up by three points for this, so we added one. Um, curse token into the chaos bag. Uh, minus two, so we pass. We don't lose any clues. That's good. First action. 
We will spend the two clues to defeat Peter Warren. So Peter goes to the victory display. Second action will move over here. Actually, let's do uh, the action here. So search the top six cards of your deck for a tome or spell card and add it to your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I have almost never used this. So this is what we were looking for. So read the signs, grab that. Helps us to get uh, more clues more easily. So we shuffle our deck. Then last action. So last action we'll move to Rivertown next round. We go to Graveyard, defeat uh, Herman Collins and uh, investigate pro probably there. We'll see. Uh, enemy face, these guys hunt here. Upkeep. Oh yeah, this would have read it already. We draw a card. And fade, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Encounter card is another acolyte. So we place it uh, empty location. Empty location. Well, that is an empty location. So <coughs> that cultist is there. That's one doom. That is that first action. We'll move to the graveyard. Uh, Herman Collins engages us. There are two clues here. A shroud of one only, but that doesn't matter that much. Uh, we want to pass this, so I I, I don't mind taking two horror. We don't haven't taken any damage yet, so uh, we'll test four versus three. Uh, skull is a minus one because there's one doom on a cultist. Still we pass, so no horror for us. Second action, we will discard four cards and I'm not using uh, Emergency Cash, Blinding Light, Shroud of Shadows, or Temp Fate. No, the flashlight is useless. So we discard those four cards and defeat Herman Collins. And uh, last action, we'll investigate with uh, read the signs. This is because we just want to grab the both of the clues this round. It is a minus one. We pass easily. Grab these two clues. Uh, we'll go to the enemy phase. These guys hunt here. Upkeep. <coughs> We draw a card, we gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom. So we are at 4 of 8 encounter card is False lead. If you have no clues, false lead can search. If you have one or more clues, test uh, Intellect 4. For each point you fail by, place one of the, your clues on your location. We will immediately use the gate box here. That is because now if we drop any clues, those drop onto the green gate. And we either way want to get uh, get out of this location. So uh, we are testing... Uh, I'm committing that to the test. So 4 versus 4. Auto fail, so we drop both of our clues. Well, it doesn't matter that much. We can just try to uh, investigate this location. So uh, we will uh, investigate first action. Uh, so three versus one. Uh, skull is a minus one, so we get one clue. We'll investigate again. Uh, three versus one. Plus one, so we get this clue back also. Uh, last action, we'll spend the clues to spawn another cultist. And it is Root Turner. Well, uh, we only have a, a agility of three, so now we actually would want to get the 
some some way to evade better, but it is what it is. We'll see if we get any before the game ends. So this is the end of the investigation phase. So we have to drop down to a location. So we'll drop down here. And it is it needs to be uh Uh, it, it needs to be a reveal location, which I had to double check. I haven't played loop in a while. So uh, these enemies hunt over here, we don't mind. And uh, we will actually maybe we do mind. We could go to East Town, yeah. So so one, two, three, one, two. Okay, the, so this is the shortest way, so we can can't uh, change that uh, okay well uh, we ready up we draw a card well shroud of shadows just what we wanted and we gain our resource so that is that round let's go to the next round we add another doom encounter card is uh, on wings of darkness so we are testing four versus uh, three, uh, three versus four. Uh, I don't mind if we move to the central location. That actually shortens our trip to uh, to Root Turner. So um, we are down by one. It is a minus one. We we fail. So we go here. We take one damage and one horror. I'll take the horror here doesn't matter. So that is the uh, mythos phase. We will play Shroud of Shadows as our first action. Second action, we will move to south side. One clue here. We might as well investigate uh, with the right of seeking. So we are investigating Four versus three, and I'll commit this to the test. So yeah, uh, we paid for the shroud of shadows. So four versus three, <sighs> minus one. So we grab this clue. Uh, enemies hunt over here, and. We ready up, we draw a card, medical text, actually I, I meant to save this for later, so I'm, I'm going back a bit. I still succeeded with the minus one, so sorry for uh, <laughs> going back, sis, but yeah, I needed this to have a better chance to uh, defeat Ruth Turner. So, yeah, uh, we can actually draw cards here also, so let's not back up. It is what it is. Uh, we gain a resource, so that is that round. Uh, let's go to the next round. We add another Doom. Uh, we are at five of, uh, six of eight, so we are running out of time here. Uh, encounter card is obscuring fog, so that doesn't affect us at all. We are happy to see that. First action, we will do the action here to draw three cards. So, limit once per game, we get uh, Written in the Stars, uh, Fearless, and Chthonian Stone. So, we get some boost to our willpower, which we needed. And then we'll move to St. Mary's Hospital. And uh, one clue here. And we'll try to, uh, as a last action, evade with the Shroud of Shadows. So, spend one charge, evade. This evasion attempt uses willpower instead of agility. If you succeed and evade enemies non elite, you may move to that enemy to a connecting location. But we are just defeating it. So we are four versus five, and we'll go 
Uh, six versus five. So we are up by one, which is uh, hopefully enough. So let's see how this goes. And if we succeed, we get to heal a horror, which we don't have. Well, it is what it is. Okay, uh, five versus uh, four, six versus five, minus one. Uh, yeah, so we defeat that one. This is turning out to be a really good run. Well, what could you expect with Luke Robinson in play? But that was our turn. Enemies hunt here. We ready up. We draw a card. We gain a resource. That is that round. Uh, I think the next round is the last one. Yeah, because we are getting one doom and uh, after that we would uh, do them out. So that uh, let's end the game on the next round. Okay, so the last round of the game we get one doom and the wizard of the order will Let's pawn it uh, here, for example. Okay, well. Mm, it gets a doom on it, so we are definitely running out of time next round. So, first action. Let's just see which uh, uh, cultist we spawn for, for our last one. So, I am investigating with my intellect, so... Uh, committing, connect the dots, and uh, bony and stone. So six versus two. Minus one. Uh, we'll grab this clue. Last uh, sec second to last action is to reveal another cultist. Unfortunately, it's Victoria Devereaux because we had the resources to go defeat her, but we are running out of time. We can't move there or teleport there in, in any way, so that, that is bad, but it is what it is. This has been one of the better runs I have done in this series. Uh, last action will be just to resign. So, uh, to tally up, uh, we got three locations cleared of clues, that's three victory points. We defeated three cultist enemies, so we uh, run out of here um, or teleport to safety into our gate box or whatever with 6 XP uh, under our belts. And I, I think this was one of the best runs I did uh, in this Chaos uh, Eye of Chaos series so far. But Luke Robinson is just so good. Um, I, usually he breaks the game. And uh, I think with a better deck, I could probably do even better in this scenario. But hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.